Hey everybody, I'm here with a quick video on Gene Dill, uh, Diddy, Shine. And you know, Gene Dill got so many stories about Diddy. They need to make a movie. Unfortunately, they won't be able to call it The Bodyguard because Whitney Houston and, and Kevin Costner already took that name. Maybe they can name it The Celebrity Bodyguard or Diddy's ex-bodyguard. I don't know. We need a better name, but I'm just saying he needs to do a whole, they need to do a whole movie on him. So he's in the Shine, the Honorable Shine Hulu documentary. And in said documentary, he said that Diddy, um, back when him and Shine was, you know, on trial for that case, he said that Diddy, when he was waiting for the verdict to come in, actually the verdict came in, he was waiting to hear it. On his way back to the court, he made a pit stop at Central Park. And at Central Park, it was some seance, some ritual, some something where somebody was there with some sage and the bird, uh, Diddy fell down and he arose and lived and the bird did not. And then he went to the courthouse and he was found not guilty. Listen, let's get into this story. Did, listen, let me tell you something. When this May 2025 trial comes for Diddy, um, we are going to be shocked every single day about the stories that are going to come out, the things that are going to be heard. This thing is going to be unbelievable. It's going to mimic like a movie that you just can't believe. But unfortunately, it's going to be about real life, not just Diddy's, but the other people that were impacted by the things he's alleged to have done. So Diddy sacrificed Bird before a shine shooting verdict, former bodyguard claims. So Diddy sacrificed a bird before Shine case verdict, Bodyguard's new claim, and that bodyguard is Gene Dill. Diddy performed a bird sacrifice hours before he was acquitted on all charges related to the infamous 1999 club shooting with Shine, at least according to Diddy's former bodyguard. The story as told in a new Hulu documentary about Shine goes like this. Diddy was on his way to court to learn the verdict in the shooting case when he had his driver make a it stopped in Central Park. A man was waiting for Diddy, and when Diddy approached the guy, Diddy dropped to his knees and smoke started swirling around Diddy. This is crazy. The bodyguard, Gene Dill, thinks the burdened substance was sage. Diddy, um, Dill says the guy appeared to have a Bible as he started praying and placing his hands on Diddy before telling Diddy to grab a white bird from a cage. Did he throw the bird in the air and it dropped and it dropped to the ground like a brick? Oh my gosh. The bodyguard says that was the end of the ritual. The bird was dead and Diddy walked away. Hours later, Diddy was acquitted on attempted bribery and weapons possession charges. A huge relief considering he was staring down 15 years in prison if convicted. Whew. You know what's sad? He he was not convicted, but perhaps is he if he was convicted um, during that time. But you know we cannot turn back the the hand of the clock. Um, maybe we would be seeing a whole different person right now. I don't know. I'm just taking a guess here, y'all. I'm just saying. Right? Shine on the other hand was found guilty of assault, reckless endangerment, and criminal criminal possession of a pistol with Diddy's former bad boy artist sentenced to 10 years behind bars. Dill makes the bird sacrifice claims in the Honorable Shine, a new Hulu documentary about Shine that dropped today. Shine says Diddy made him the fall guy in the case and claims it was all part of some demonic plot by Diddy. Allegations Diddy de denies. And of course, they reach out to Diddy Rest for a comment. So far, no word back. But Shine said there was a ritual. He was there. I don't know. I guess there was a ritual. Um, let's listen to Shine say pretty much that he feels Diddy, you know, is a demonic, well, demonic behavior. You pretty much saying this man is like the devil. So let's listen. I was at one of P. Diddy's freak offs. You saw celebrities there that you recognized. Mm -hmm. It was a rapper that we all know. Straight up porn erected by Diddy. I'm just grateful to have made it out. 
someone that was prepared to um, have me sit in jail for, I was facing 25 years to totally destroy my career, destroy my life, rob me of my freedom to be a participant in that. Of course, it doesn't surprise me that he would be uh, accused of uh, the atrocious things that he is because, uh, you know, what he did to me and my family, you know, was to me demonic. So Sean was facing up to 25 years and actually did 10. Um, either way, listen, I couldn't spend not two seconds in nobody jail. Um, I did not watch the Honorable Sean yet, but when I get an opportunity, I will watch it. But in the meantime, what do you think about this bird sacrifice story coming from Gene Dill? Okay. So Gene Dill said it was a bird. The bird died. And I guess did he live, so to speak, right? Because if he would have been sentenced to what the 15 years in jail, who knows where he would be? And I don't know. By then, the, the twins wasn't even born. It would have been a whole different story right now. I don't think the twins was born. I don't know. I don't know who was already born by that time. But anyway, guys, y'all know the routine. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this bird sacrifice. I don't, you know, oh, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button. I'll see you on the next video.